So I grew up in South Texas along the coast, and I'm very familiar with mosquitoes because of that. In the summertime, you could say that the air was filled with mosquitoes, and I remember walking out onto a grassy field and there being a fog of mosquitoes that rose from the ground. And it was a little nightmarish. But I had a nice house I could run into. I had bug repellent I could spray on myself. And our town was really good about making sure that they sprayed regularly to keep the mosquito population down. But in the places we serve, like Africa and Asia, those are luxuries. Those aren't even actually options for their populations. So an example is I read a story of a mother who spends most of her night waking up and shooing mosquitoes off of her kids. So that means you have this incredibly caring mother. She's exhausted, she doesn't get much sleep at night, and she probably is sick often because of the mosquitoes. And her children probably fall sick often because of mosquitoes. So that means she still has to wake up in the morning with little to no sleep and struggles to go to work probably being sick and her children suffer in their education because they miss several days of school because they're sick. And that's a common story for our missionaries and the people we serve in these remote areas. Their homes are not airtight. They have doors, but the door is just a hole in the wall. And the window is also just a hole in the wall, and that's their life. And that's also why I'm so excited about mosquito nets, is because that is the best protection for them. And it's so affordable for someone like me to just give $10 to provide a family with a mosquito net. And I love that it provides more than just a good night's sleep. It provides more than just good health for the entire family because it also provides peace of mind and security and they have hope for a safer future all because of a mosquito net.